welcome back to my channel let's start today a brand new project so let's grab a nice cup of tea and let's see what i'm gonna make with all these nice goodies i just let you see them all right so let's get started okay let's see we have chipboard for making an album um, or cover or any project so that is cool um, let's see what size do we want I don't know exactly we have 25 sheets of black um, perhaps I am gonna use some of that um, brown craft paper um, perhaps to settle some pieces down or I can use some I don't want to use white but this is a creamer color let me show you the difference between white and cream um, see that's the difference uh, I think this color will match better for if I like to make a photo frame and yeah normally an album is for making an album that's um, also good for uh, photo frames or uh, places to add photos on so I'm going to use um, brown craft paper cardstock also together with this black and then of course the high um, quality design paper from Stamperia oh my goodness um, the first thing I always like to do before I going to start is think of a team think of what do we want to make yeah you know me i know i love to make uh, mini albums big small squares art landscape portrait styles any kind so that is basically the main thing that i just love making them i love books i am and especially scrapbooking books uh, mini albums um so yeah i it, but, well, 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 it was just weekend when I um, got this. So I already had a few moments to think of what I want to make with this. And um, I always like adding the name of the papers and give that theme back. So, yeah, it, it the papers really get adjust their um, style. So the name is Grand Hotel. So the first thing I thought, what can I do with a name that is called Grand Hotel? Hmm, yeah. Actually, we can do a lot. And well, this is so vintage. Uh, colorful, it's, it's, it's quiet, it's uh, with flowers, and we have the stripes and all kind of we have the suitcases the lamps same things that you receive that you uh, get also when you are in a hotel of course so can you imagine and when i see this i told you i think of laura ashley and um they make curtains and other other uh, things and when i think of laura ashley i think of the uk um so yeah, I know. Yeah, the Queen of England is, is very with that uh, flowery thing, but not only in the UK. I think this style speaks for all over the world. And you have these tags, these um, little um, month, special days, month tags. So, of course, we want to make an album. So it's... Um, so you can remember back when you are having a nice uh, vacation, a nice holiday, when you have a nice uh, hotel. Especially perhaps you have a hotel where you have super cute memories of. Or you had the cutest um, hotel room ever. Or any kind of holiday, vacation, business trips, any kind of things will fit with these with these papers so what i had in mind was making an album of course door making an album but then a bit like a hotel a hotel team because yeah of course the name is grand hotel 
So what I like to do is first of all the cover. And I had an idea for the cover. How about making uh, the cover and then make a nice door. If it seems, if you have an album in front of you and you see right away a nice door, that means it's a hotel door. Uh, so we can make a nice knob on that. And uh, on that knob we can make a nice tag, do not disturb. Or something like that and then you can make a nice picture frame out of it so underneath you can pull it out what I put inside of there and you can change that for a picture picture okay so that is the first thing I had in mind and then on the inside we also can make uh, we can make um, rooms we can make doors we can make windows all kind of things that possibly is doable when you think of a hotel so yeah that is something I had in mind and I'm gonna see if I can accomplish that all right so um first of all I think I'm gonna start with the cover and that is for me mostly the base when I do the cover then the rest will just pop out of my sleeve <laughs> something like that but um, but normally I like to start with the pages and then do the cover so I know exactly how thick the cover needs to be um, so but for now I'm just going to start with the cover because I had that idea this morning in my head and I just wanted to start and see how it goes so that is what I'm going to do so okay so that is the first thing I like to share with you how I came up with a plan. For the rest, I am not going to plan anything. I'm going to see what size is a good size for an album. Um, what size do we want? Um, seven is a nice size by... Seven by nine, something like that, or ten. Is ten too high? Or eight by ten? That's big. I don't want to make that big. What's a photo frame? I always like to check that out. This is a photo frame. I always like having enough space for making this size photo in an album. So let's say, let's give it one inch here. And I'm gonna make a double, um, I'm gonna make a double, not a double hinge, but an uh, extra space. So that's a half inch extra. So then I think I come up with a seven and a half. Let's make this seven and a half. So, okay, so I'm going to make this seven and a half. And then, what do you say? Eight and a half. Eight and a half is almost a 21 and a half centimeters. That is with a four papers. Also good to do. Yeah, I think seven and a half by eight and a half. That, I think it's a nice size. But I, if I'm not sure, I'm just going to mark that, how it looks like. Well, that's just my way of working. <laughs> and for those who follow me longer than today, I have an odd way of working. But I just like to show you everything, how I normally think, how I normally um start on a project and then just go with the flow that is what i like to give to you how i work and how i think so what do you say this is a seven and a half by eight and a half hmm. is it a good size or is nine better I think nine is better. Seven and a half by nine. What do you 
say, how about that? Just going to make another line. It's no problem because we can. Oh yeah, it's Monday again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, the noise is gone. For those who do not know what noise that is, it's Monday uh, 12 uh, in the afternoon. And that is each Monday, each first day, no, each first Monday of the month. Um, because today it's 2 December. Um, that means that at 12 we get a alarm noise what you just hear and when there is nothing wrong and it's the first Monday at 12 we don't have to uh, panic but if that noise comes on not a first Monday or at a different time then we should panic because that's the alarm that means there is something wrong in this land country world country town anyway that's not the case not panic so the noise is gone <laughs> okay so these are the measurements that i'm going to use for my next album it's seven and a half by nine inch and that means that's 19 by 23 centimeters for those who measured the centimeters and four by nine inch for the spine and that means 10 by 23 centimeters okay and of course these you need to be you need to have double so i'm gonna make the cover and let's see what material i like to use for that um do i like papers or do i like normally i do like my contact paper but i also want to try out these papers so i think i'm gonna cut these first in that size that's two inches or two centimeters larger on each side and then i'm gonna cut two of these and then i'm gonna cut two of course like i just said and then i'm gonna attach these two on each other so let's start with cutting these two a little shorter you always can save those leftover pieces i always do now if i attach these two on each other that will be too large but let's just start by doing that so i'm gonna attach these two using my score tape for the very first time okay where's the, oh here it is here it is okay Let's add as close as we can to the edge. Now, normally I would use a tool, but perhaps... Oh, this one tears very nice. Okay, let's grab my other picking tool. Okay, and now I'm gonna use that tape as my guideline. So I'm just going to start at the bottom and then I'm, if I don't see that tape, then I'm good. Where was my cruising tool? Here we go. Now check out how far we can cut it down. We don't need this large. See, now I'm here to inches well not two inches i am not two inches away so i'm gonna cut this piece on this side a little shorter save it never know where it's good for all right so now i'm gonna attach this on my paper Okay, that's good. Let's see, where is my... I always like to use two kind of uh, glue. This one is for my... Let me turn it 
film this. This one is from my hometown. It's a very cheap one, but the paper does not get any bubbles for it. Um, it's not for sale online. Many of you ask me that, but it's just a simple glue which I bought in my hometown cheap store. And it's called, for those who are curious, it's the Cree Creation. But it's not available online, guys. So pick any glue you like. Now, of course. I do have my art glitter glue. Oh yes, it's ready. Ready to roll. But for bigger pieces, I always take uh, my clear glue. That's just perfect to use. But you can use your art glitter glue. That's quick and dry. That's, that, that's, that's, that's a big, um, big plus with art glitter glue. It dries so quick. But for these bigger pieces, you can also use another glue. All right, now pay attention. Ah, stay away at least, well, a one fourth is, is too much, but a 3 sixteenth or a four millimeters, well, mine is almost five actually, five millimeters. That is, that is definitely necessary. Stay away. Keep this big enough. Not too big, not too small. But a 3 16th or 4 millimeters. Yeah, that's definitely necessary. So I'm going to eyeball this. I always eyeball that. But I want to tell you how much I keep away from that. Alright, so let's go to the now last piece of chipboard. using all the pieces so it's nice attached okay same thing stay away 3 sixteenths or 4 millimeters away from this okay So normally it needs to dry, but I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to squeeze that glue into my papers, my chipboard. I love this tool, it goes so fast with not too much pressure. Of course we need to put some pressure on it, but not that much. See it all stays there. Yep, everything is cool. Now the next thing what I like is um, cut the corners. Now you can uh, measure that, but I like to just use my scissor. And I'm gonna stay away. Well, perhaps the thickness of my scissor. So I'm gonna stay away. And how much that is? two millimeters at least. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Stay just a little off. Flip it over. I don't want to make this um, too wide so I'm gonna go in with this and then I'm gonna make to the other part. But there is no particularly must in this. It's just how I like to do my edges. Now why am I actually using this big, big one? Normally I have my small one. <laughs> That's better. Okay, um, alright. So let's start with the large, the longest side. But this is hard because my table is not that uh, long. But what I'm going to do is, well, let me fill and grab it like this. Otherwise, I can't show you. 
I am gonna use my fingers first to give it a nice touch till that chipboard. Just pushing your hands against that so we have already a nice piece. Now what I'm gonna do is my bone folder and I make that even straighter. I'm gonna bend this over that edge. Okay, let's make a little fold line that helps it even more. But take caution, you don't push too hard. You don't want to tear this paper. Now normally I use contact paper, but I just want to see what this paper does. And I think I like it already. Okay. Now I'm going to add, for my sake, I'm going to use some double-sided tape on the edge right here. So it dries a bit quicker. Now I'm going to use my arc little glue because it dries so nice. The first thing I like to add is against the chipboard. And then on the edge. There we go. Now. I'm going to start in the middle and I'm pushing it down, holding it because this paper is pretty stiff, but we can manage. Just go all to the top and then all to the down. You to, to the down. Oh yeah, to the bottom. <laughs> That's better. Now use your bone folder and squeeze it in your chipboard, the glue I mean. Squeeze that in. So it won't go anywhere. Now what I like to do is because the glue is still wet, but be gentle, be gentle. Squeeze or push a bit the paper against the chipboard. But be gentle with this. Don't push it too hard, the glue is wet, but we do like a nice clean edge all the way till the end. Not pushing too hard, you get the feeling of that, that it does not need too much. And then you have a nice clean paper line. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this piece and then I come back to you. Okay, when that is done, when that is done, we go to the smallest pieces. And the smallest pieces, we need to tuck in this little corner, you see? We can't tuck that in with just a nice simple bone fold, but just go around it, just like that. Same here, go around it and squeeze that in. See? Now again, make a little fold line with your bone folder. Then use your bone folder to squeeze this again. Or your hand, you can also use your hand. I'm going to use now this bone folder. Then I like to use a bit extra adhesive. Then some of my art little glue against that chipboard. Now I'm gonna squeeze and start in the middle, holding it down and squeeze it against that chipboard. Now use your bone folder to adjust, let that glue in that chipboard. Yeah, and now I'm going to be too gentle, same thing on that edge. There we go, and 
then you have a nice tucked in corner. Now, one more time. Let's do this together. You tuck in that corner like that. Same here. Make a fold line with your bone folder. Grab it and push it against that chipboard. Now, I like to use double sided tape. I like to use my art little glue. And then I'm going to fold it in. almost and then inside here use your bone fold to keep it steady and you just can just make a little fold line and then your paper is going with it same here make a little fold line and there you go to do is not too harsh Yay. cool there you have it that's that I like the size of it cool so it's a seven and a half by nine and yeah it's it's nice and I especially made it four inches because that means that I have plenty of room and space uh, where I can add my pages and still have lots and lots of opening spaces for adding pictures. So I be safe. I like that. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, so that was step one. So let's go to the outside and make a nice cover of it yay <laughs> okay before I go further on the cover I always like to use um, some vinyl to um, make sure that this pie will ends will last for years so that is why I always like to use some vinyl at, um, at the spine and you can choose if you go wrap around uh, it and um, and then add your papers on it or you can do this on a later stage where your paper is going underneath it for this time I choose to go start with this one because I want to make that uh, that door at the front so I don't want any of this overlapping so I'm going to cover the sides up with paper so you only see this edge right there. So that is what I choose for this time. So I used some bigger tape. It saves you a lot of time. And if I can peel it off, yep, there it is. Okay, so that is what I'm going to use. And here is a little um, texture in it, but that's just. You don't see that when I add this. Yep, here we go. Okay, let's attach this nicely. And now my spine will last for years and years and years without any cracking the spine see this is nicely wrapped around and when I'm finished with the cover you only and the side if I want to cover this up I don't know I like this but um, 
then you only see this little piece right here. But I thought the color matches. And so yeah, what stuff is this? Well, this one is not particularly bookbinders linen. You can use bookbinders linen and uh, that don't tear also. But this is actually tablecloth. Uh, really simple to find and um, very easy to use, but it's vinyl. So you can search for vinyl. Any kind of vinyl um, is, is good to use. If the back is not too soft, not too fabric, too thick fabric uh, feel. This one works very nice. It's very naked, like, so yeah, that's, that's a word I think I can say. It. It's a little soft, but not too um, fuzzy, not too, um, yeah, not too fabric feeling. So yeah, it's just fabric. It's just a uh, vinyl, just, um, tablecloth well, it's really simple to find um, all right so let's continue let's see and uh, first thing I'm gonna see is how wide how large my door how I think I'm gonna start with the door how large do I want the door all right let's just check it out <laughs> okay let's see I think this size is nice because we can make this a little higher and still add some nice frame on the bottom with a sign or at the top that's normally something is on top of door oh yeah that's that's true so i just uh choose for this size so five and a half by seven inch and that's 14 by 18 centimeters so the first thing i'm gonna focus on is that door i'm gonna make so i cut out my strips from the leftover pieces from the chipboard and this one is 3 4 centimeters is 2 2 centimeters and the next one is a half inch and that means yeah, 1.3 centimeters um, but first before I'm gonna start with this um, I think I'm gonna uh, try first to make hmm yeah what shall we do first what is a good start to do i think the first start is to make a pocket what do you say a pocket so yeah i think that's a good way to start so i'm gonna go up hmm. shall i make shall i make it with 12 by 12 or my a4 I think this is, uh, I'm gonna save that. I'm just going to make the same, same, same paper. I'm gonna start with an A4 piece of paper because you don't have to measure, um, because I'm just going to see first how it all went. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, let's see. Let's just make two fold lines, half inch. One here and one here. No measuring, no nothing. Cut this corner a bit. Um, yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. Okay, fold it over. Nice straight. Now I am gonna see my, yeah, this is just a little check, please. A check, check piece, a, a, a piece of paper that I'm checking. And of course, this is five and a half at seven. So if I grab my scoreboard, then the next one will be, of course, five, I guess. Five and a half, actually. And if I put my paper against that, then that's cool. So yes, we can score this at five and a half. I'm gonna make a little mark right there and then find a nice 
groove where I can score this nicely straight. Okay, now cut this off at the half half inch, and then we can cut this down again to the corner. Alright. Fold it over. Check, 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 check. This fits nicely. Yeah, and then the next one, of course, is at 7 inch. Now, I can use that piece of paper, but I can imagine yet that you don't have that made, that little piece of paper. So I'm just going to measure at 7. Measure at 7. Make a little mark with my score tool. And then again, I'm going to cut this down. Yeah. Okay, that was not too hard. Now, let's cut this off right here. Fold it over. And then we have our little frame. That went pretty easy. Okay, now still this fits, of course. Yeah, if I did it correctly, yes, and I did. I now have a frame, a door, that measures 5.5 by 7 inch. So cool. Um, yeah, next step is... I'm going to make a frame with the, the thickest piece first. And so I'm going to measure this. And I'm going to save just a little edge right here. Then I'm going to mark this. And you can measure that, of course, too. But you know me, I do not measure that much. Okay, now the next one, of course, needs to be the same size. Stay away just a little. And then the next one is coming in between those two so yeah that's a little hard for me to do but yeah i know i am hard to get am i hard to get oh my gosh did i just say that <laughs> girl 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 you are a crazy one. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. The easiest thing to do is just follow this piece right here. Like this. See? Then you just can use this was the same way but this one was wasn't it yeah this one was but it's that does not need that you can and the more easiest way is of course if I had um, more chipboard but I want to use the leftover pieces you know me I like using the leftover pieces so that is way easier but I'm gonna cut this when I have this straight so now I am gonna grab some piece of paper what shall we use well this is hard to see because this piece is going to be um, 
on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna choose for one that is that I have double. Ooh, I'm gonna use this piece to make that frame. So I'm gonna pop it over and I'm just going to start. I'm just going to start to glue this on. All right. I know. I'm just going to start. So this is going to be overlapping. So what if I cut already this size, but then how much larger do I can wrap this around? Yeah, one inch is too much. I'm gonna cut a three fourth larger, half inch. Oh. I think a half inch will do, I don't know. Okay, so that means I need to cut it at six and a half. I'm gonna cut this at seven first, just to have it a little wider. That's seven, and then eight, eight and a half. Okay, so now I have my piece. And now I can start. Make that frame. This one is smaller. And then, yeah, this is a good size. That's a good one. All right, so I'm just going to start with the first one. I'm gonna add this. Yeah, this looks very 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 strange it would be easier to cut a frame out of one piece it is but i just want to show you that you can use a piece out of leftover chipboard you can i'm just going to show you so that's the first piece right here now i'm going to add my next piece that i it measured a bit just a few seconds ago. Okay, then this piece. Against this one. And now I'm gonna check if I am straight. And I am. Nice. And then the last piece I can measure. I keep this a little low. And then make two marks. You can cut it down. And let's check it out. Yeah, that fits perfectly. Now at this point, I love the arc little glue because it dries so nice and fast. It does. Okay. Is this straight or what? Let's check it out. Three, three, four. Yeah, nice. Cool. I'm gonna push it a little down so the glue goes everywhere. Double check. Yeah, it's a little smaller. Yeah, just perfect. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut in the middle because we don't want this too much. So I'm gonna cut in the middle. Just keeping a half inch away from the edges. That's enough to wrap this around. Okay, you always can use the leftover piece. So that is that. Now I'm gonna make a triangle from the corner. 
to that cutting corner. Yes, and I like to, well, I can do that with my scissor. I like to add, I like to cut down, same as we did with the cover. Just keeping two millimeters away from that edge. Oh yeah, and now you can imagine what we are going to do. We go wrap this around, same as we did with the cover. I always like to start with the large one. So again, fold this in. You can make a score line. Just wide enough. And then use again some double sided tape and okay so this is pretty much exactly the same as we did with the cover go to the other one make a little score line fold it in nicely against that chipboard. Use some glue and fold it over. Same as with the other one. Use that edge. Okay, same as the cover, fold this inside, make a fold line, use some tape if you like that. or your hands, whatever you like to use. There we go. That's that. So nicely tucked in. And if you see just a little that you want to cut off, you just can. So cool. Okay, so that is the first step. Now we go to the inside. Yeah, and that is exactly the same, of course. Let's start with a large piece. Make a little score line. Grab this. Fold it against the chipboard. Use some glue. And fold it in. Let's go to the other side. Make a little fold line. Fold it. I always like to use some double sided tape. hands if you like. Squeeze that in. Okay, almost there. See how easy that is. You can do this. We can do this. Oh yes. Okay, 
last piece. Last but not least. A little bit of glue. There we go. And don't forget the inside. Make it nice, flat and tight. That's that, guys. That's it. That's the frame. Cool. I love it. Now I hope I, I am straight. Ah, let's check it out. Okay. That went pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's the first frame. Now I'm going to make another one. That will go on top. Just because a door also has some nice... Um, nice edges in between so that is what i'm gonna like so i'm gonna do pretty much exactly the same um perhaps it's handy that i'm gonna make another play paper so i'm gonna cut this one also shorter so that's my guideline to make another frame. Let's see. Oh, this can be. This can be better. Wait just a second. It's a little off. This is better. So yeah, this is my next frame. I think I can use this with just a little bigger. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another frame. So that will go on top here. Alright, so I'm going to choose for piece of paper where I have also double that's this piece that is this piece I'm going to use and I'm going to make this fit right here so I can adjust right away this a little larger so it will fit around it I don't think I need that much because this is tin too. So I'm gonna make it a little shorter. Yes, that is what I'm gonna cut. Now, fingers crossed if this will work. I hope so. <laughs> okay, where is that? Oh, here it is. Yes. So I am going to place this on top here and I'm going to make a guideline. Where I am going to place the chipboard in. Perhaps that's easier. Again, it's more easy when you cut your chipboard in one piece. It is. But let's do crazy. Okay. I want this to be nicely fitting right here. So the first one I'm going to check. Check it out. Check, 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 double check. Is this? Yeah, 
this is just a millimeter larger than this piece so that means that I can glue this down just a millimeter over this yes yeah 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 who told you that crafting was easy mm -hmm. well sometimes you just need to see what we can do with our leftovers This is not too small, but we'll see. We'll see. Next one is going to be right here. is very tiny but I hope we can manage that <laughs> okay let's grab another piece I'm first going to cut this piece I need one more. I forgot to cut it down. One more. Okay, let's grab another piece and use a guideline. This fits nicely. It does. Yes, okay. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same as that other piece. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut on the inside all the way around. This one is short, so use a good glue that quick dry. It's easier. Save your pieces. Never know where you want to use it for. Right, cut to the corner. Cut a bit of this one. Not too much. guys and then I'm gonna do this wrap this around on my own yes I'm gonna leave you for just a second you can do this and then I'll come back to you in just a second you can leave you can use these for making nice little swing tabs if you like it's always nice to save what you have okay so I'll be back in just a second Okay, let's see, let's see, how far are we? Okay, so we have that pocket. And 
this pocket turns out a little smaller and that's actually how I like it. If that's not the issue that yours is not a bit smaller then just make a new one. You can do that. You can do that. Make just a little one. Make it a little smaller. Just a little around the edges so it won't come under this frame, this door. Okay, because this is going to be your um, pocket where we can add our picture in it. Okay, so now this is going to be on top. And as you can see now, have we made a nice, and it's not perfect, but guys, it, it, it should be perfect if I cut it out out of one frame. But hey, we do love using the leftover pieces. And I am satisfied about it. it. It's good. It's, yeah. It's good enough for me. So I'm gonna place this down. I'm gonna glue these two on each other. But before I'm gonna do that, I wanna choose because I do have two uh, options. One big one. And a smaller one. I think the smaller one is better for a doorknob. So, but how I'm gonna attach these two? Is this going to be all the way? I think it is. So, um, I'm gonna add attach these two on each other on the straightest and nicest way possible, and then I'm gonna attach this piece right here. Let's see. Okay, let's see. I attached the a little. I attached these two, and I marked already where I want to add my knot knob on. Um, I'm gonna make a hole in it so it's easier. I think. Oh, this just fits. Ooh, okay. Yes. Let's see if I can push that little button in there, and it does. See, and it's nice flat, just how I like it. That's cool. I'm gonna, I am gonna plug in my hot glue, and then I'm gonna grab a piece of thread. Let's attach this one. The glue needs to dry, but this never goes the first way correctly with me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Again, um, no, I'm gonna wait till my glue is ready. I'm gonna search already nice clear piece. And this one, I can cut it down already. In the meantime, my hot glue is getting ready. Cut it down. Okay, this will fit. Yes, nice. Okay, in the meantime, what we also can do is when we place this and we are going to do that in just a second, but we need to cut out this window, of course. So what can we do is we can make a line where this is going to be cut out. Let's see. 
see. Yes. So I'm going to cut that out. And let's see. Let's, um, I'm going to cut this a little smaller so it's on the inside. See, I'm going to cut a little on the inside of that pencil mark. So it falls just under that edge of that frame. Okay, let's check it out. Oh yeah, of course, I needed to cut outside that pencil mark. Now I cut it bigger. Oh yeah! big mistake. No, it isn't. Let's just cut this again. Here we go. Adjust. off now it should be smaller yay goody 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 now it is smaller perfect perfect okay now let's see if the glue is dry, so I'm gonna put this again in that eye, ooh, oh by the way, um, we went yesterday to, in my opinion, the biggest big black bazaar in Holland, and that one is close to Amsterdam, Kohl's Beverwijk, and that is such a big, a big bazaar where you can have such much, so much nice stuff. And we went there yesterday, yesterday was Sunday, and um, Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I always love going there. Okay, so this is attached real good. Now, of course, I want this to be uh, attached perfectly too. So, it's no need to attach this with a knot. But, definitely gonna use some score tape for that. And of course the hot glue will attach it good already, but just to be sure. Anyway, that market is so huge that you really have to use one day for it, otherwise you don't see everything. And yeah, I know most of the things are the same and you can see it all over and over and over, but still I like the, the, the sphere, I do like everything about it. I love it. I'm going to add just a little on here too. And then I'm going to push this nicely in that opening. So I don't think that button is going anywhere. 
hope at least. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Now there is just a little what is no annoys me right here. I'm gonna try to peel that off just a bit. Not to whipping off my paper. Perhaps just a little scissor. Oh, this one is flat. Come out. Yeah, that was it. That's the one I did not like to see. Okay, so, all right, I love it. <laughs> that is cool. Our door. Yay. <laughs> this is cool. Um, yeah, so let's attach this on there and then see with the clear one in between. And then I think this will go on top. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm going to attach that piece on top of this pocket. I do love to use my tool, even if this is handy to tear. Yeah, it, it is. It is really handy to tear it out. I just still love my tool. Can't keep away of my tool. <laughs> Peel this off. And let's attach that frame. we are getting dirty fingers on that but um, after we are done we can clean it up off with some clear but in between I do like to keep it clean too yes all right so now I think it's ready to put this on here and from there on, we oh well, let's we can make a pocket first. Let's do that. I'm gonna use is this fitting? Is this fitting? Yes, it does. So just use what we have. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this down a little shorter. And then we are almost done. Where am I with my little cutting? I don't see it here in the shadow. I don't see it. Yes, here we are. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Now, before I'm going to attach this, we want to know on where we want that opening. So we have the option, where do we like to change that uh, picture? Do we want to change it from the top or do we like to change it from the side? Right here. Talk to me. What do you like? Well, assume that this is going to be the closure, by the way. Say that this is on here. And we want to make it a door, and a, a top of a door is normally um, something that says, says something. Huh? Say we want here a grand hotel, something like that. So this is going to be right here. What then is handy? I think from the side, not on top. Because if we want to make a sign, say can't to tell, and we want some embellishments to on it, then that's not handy. So I'm gonna make my opening on the side, right here. So that means that I am gonna 
stick this piece right here. I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to use the other part because this part is a little wonky. I'm going to use this piece. So this piece I am gluing it down. So it's a nice sturdy piece where we can slide in our photo in and out. Now before I'm going to do that too, I like to make something that already is nice to look at, to put in here. So that means that, wait just a second, this one overlaps here, so the hinges will not be in the way. See what I just did? The background, I'm not going to glue this on top. I'm going to glue this when it's ready on the inside. And then I'm just going to leave it right here. And then I'm going to glue that down. So these hinges are not in the way on any kind. So that is what I like. But I would like to make this nice already. So what I'm going to do, what am I going to do, what can I do, is make this a nice frame. Yeah, we can do that. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mark this where my window is. Yes. Right here too, below, and here too. So I can see, because I'm going to make a card that fits in here. So we can make a nice photo frame already. But we still like to see what's in there. So I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna see what image I like to use, what will fit on that sign for Grand Hotel. So let's search a nice piece. So I need to stay in here. The rest will out of the lines, but what I just draw that will be showed before you're going to add a picture on. Alright, so let's, I'm just going to dig in my pictures, my paper, and I'm going to see what I like. Of course, I need to take care of um, this, this image, this, this frame. So I'm just going to see what will fit. See, I'm going to do that like this and just, oh, this one is very, very nice. Ooh. And so I'm continuing and search which one I like. I'll be just back. I choose for this image because, yeah, it, it's just, it fits perfectly. And I love the suitcases, Bon Voyage, I love everything on it. So, yeah, it matched perfectly. So that is what I'm going to use. So how I'm going to use that? Well, this, these two lines I need. And then for the rest... It's just a matter of lining it up, checking it double. And perhaps, perhaps it's easier to draw a line. This is perfect. Just going to make a little sketch so I know best where this needs to go. Okay. 
So what happens if I put this right here? I think I'm good. <laughs> so I'm going to add this. Yeah. Check it out. And of course, when this is going to be in the pocket, then that's not always what you're going to see, of course. But it's an adventure. It is. It's always an adventure and see just how it goes. So stay. And of course I'm going to make this nicer, but this is just the background. And I want this to be perfect. Perfect as I can, of course. What if I put it right there? Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Check it out. I'm going to use a little clamp just to see how it works. So what if this is going to be right here on that spot? Am I then good? <laughs> Am I good? Okay. So if I put this on here. I know there are better ways to do this, but yeah, I'm just me. Oh, but that is not that bad. It needs to be a little deeper. See, that suitcase is a little... Okay, that means that my image needs to be a little deeper. That's cool. All right, so before I'm going to struggle any longer, I first going to attach this piece. So, my opening is right here, now I'm going to attach this first on that frame. Ooh, 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 yes, we are going to do that. It needs to go all the way. Let's go all the way around. And I know there are better ways, of course. Much, much, much better ways to do things that I just did. But this is just how I struggle and do the things that I do. <laughs> and are they easier? I don't think that they are easier. But yeah, that's just my imagination on doing things. I think I can peel this off too. This will stay. I hope. Just peel it off. Yeah. Cool. Whew. Okay, I'm super excited. Okay. Opening. Door on up. So 
this needs to go right here. Yes. Okay. Let's try to adjust that nicely all the way around. Let's see how good that squat tape is. And it's good, I know, I know it already, but... Alright. Yeah. Alright, so that is done. Now the only thing is to place this on the good spot. And that's just moving around it. Uh, I want to cut this just a little shorter, I see. So I can move it down a bit more. I don't want to see that white edge. I want to see the ends of that suitcase. And as I'm holding it now, it's for me perfect. So I'm going to hold it down. place the glue for the first hinge okay let's go to the other let's check if I'm still good And the last piece. Yay, here we are. Our pocket is ready. Ready, 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 ready. See, and this is a pocket. And we can add our picture behind this. It can. It's not necessary, but it can. Ready, ready, ready. No. Oh, nee. That was echt. Oh, that was echt epic. <laughs> that was echt epic. Oh, you were echt epic. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Sukkel. I kreeg een achterlanging voor jou. Nee, echt. Meen ik. Oh, you have my dog in the Oh, hold up. You can put something behind it. <laughs> Bovinage. <laughs> <laughs>